Alright guys, Flaybird is back and I keep on serving you only the best ranked SW Tour games I can only find. And, and right now I want to show you uh, awesome, in my opinion of course, but I think you'll find it awesome as well, game uh, coming from the Red Eclipse server, from the team's Nostrum Dolos. Hopefully you can see them on your screen now and reality check. Now, uh, even though I heard these two teams are are considered the best the best teams on the Red Eclipse, I personally have no idea, no idea about the, them, their setups uh, or their skill level. Uh, so this will be a little bit uh, kind of a discovery in my case, uh, and hopefully you will enjoy watching this and discovering these two teams for yourselves, uh, just as uh, I will. Anyway, the battle is happening on the Void Star and it's already on. Uh, I am not entirely sure about the. Ooh, and our protagonist is dying straight away, I suppose. Reality check does have damage. Uh, but the, from the setup, uh, in case of Nostrum Dolos, I think they have uh, one tank. Uh, as we can see, they have a Vanguard. Uh, they have two Sentinels. They have uh, one Gunslinger. Uh, well, and the uh, standard, of course, uh, Sage Heal Hybrid. Uh, or actually, I haven't seen any bubbles, uh, so perhaps uh, Sage Heal isn't exactly a hybrid. Why the hell did, did their Sage Heal go down? Oh yeah, their Sage Heal went down in a while, and we can see the battle is, the battle is unfolding. Uh, both teams are actually falling down pretty quickly. What can we see? I lore, I lore went down, Ghosts are going down, Cheesecake's going down, and perhaps it will already be a plan by reality check, but no, uh, well, they got uh, Nostradolus got lucky on the door and uh, pretty much controlling controlling reality check by the grenades right now. Oh god, uh, Nanax going down. Mm, and uh, well, let's take this, uh, this second, second to discuss the teams. Uh, uh, Although I have not been really able to notice much so far, but it seems like uh, the opposing team has uh, Sentinel, at least one, they have Power Attack, they have Sniper, uh, they have Sork, they have Jug, and, well, and I suppose they have an Assassin somewhere, right? Mm, well, Line of Fist, their Sniper, and ooh, what, what, a, what a battle in the choke, come on! Uh, God damn it! I am not sure who's going down right now at the moment. So much action going on, but the reality check seems to be pretty low on HP, or at least three of them. Uh, Anthis, Sephora is going down. You all uh, going down almost. Uh, will Anthis go down? Yes, he goes down. Meanwhile, Cheesecakes is getting pressured, and Cheesecakes is uh, Sentinel. Linfast is trying to. Cast. Actually, what's his spec? I wonder what spec is uh, reality check using under a sniper? It seems to be engineering. Okay, uh, so far it uh, feels like both teams have a good damage, but uh, so far uh, reality check is unable to play it out the proper to wipe them all fast enough. Even though uh, Nostrum Dolus's members are falling, but look at that, uh, three are down, and the door is almost open, four are down, and they are back into the fray right away. Oh, so much AOE in this, in this, uh, in this choke point. Uh, it is very important not to get caught in all this, because then it can suffer a lot of damage and uh, possibly face a wipe. We can see from the ops frame that. Uh, <laughs> Gosh, so much damage at, at once, but uh, unfortunately, well, actually, I should compliment Nostrum Dolos. They're doing a great job in not stacking up because one one accidental uh, accidental stack up, and they might just be wiped out by by all this damage. Actually, how the hell does does Reality Check have so much so much DPS in this case? I feel like they're running six or even perhaps seven DPS. I, uh, it's hard to see, of course, because action is happening so so damn fast. But seriously, it feels it feels like they they've chosen some interesting setup, which involves a lot of a lot of DPS. Um, let's look at the minimap for a second. The, the tank is actually uh, the defender of the 
West side is, is trying to stay closer to the middle simply because if his team gets wiped out he could come in and possibly prevent a gap someone's capping it's he has mod uh, juggernaut he tried to cap but obviously he got uh, pretty much interrupted uh, and I suppose Nanax is going down again Ooh, they certainly reality check certainly doesn't like this doesn't like this power tag and that's pretty logical as uh, assault vanguards or pyrotex are pretty much uh, squishy if you can uh, target it well he can go down pretty fast and there is nothing uh, that team's healers can do oh what an awesome grenade will do <laughs> God, that was almost last second save exchange of the grenades and these grenades are going pretty well perhaps uh, reality checks should sp spread out a bit because uh, this is pretty much uh, I, I should say this is a defensive CC but actually it was pretty much on the offense because uh, Nostrum Dollars was dropping out dropping out and they went on the offensive and well they are defending it's a great defense guys just great defense uh, cheesecakes is going down again and I can actually pinpoint uh, that certain certain focus from uh, reality check is going on cheesecakes it's going on uh, nanox they are trying to wipe out the most dangerous DPS from from Nostrum Dollars it seems uh, uh, <coughs> Scoby went down and it is an operative healer uh, I mean scoundrel healer of course I keep messing up this is just my affinity to perhaps uh, Imperial side I apologize for that ammo went down and the five players again were down but uh, once again once again uh, uh, they were able to get lucky on the door. It, it dropped out. Uh, unfortunately, unfortunately, reality check. It seems unable to play out to play out their DPS. Even though they seem to see, they seem to have a lot. Ammo went down. Meanwhile, uh, I suppose. Uh, well, actually, I am not sure who's at. Uh, oh yeah, it's it's a heal. I suppose one of the heals. Yep. Uh, Nanax went down again. I lore well it's just it's just like that unfortunately reality check and round one is coming to an end but reality check even though they are having a lot of dps uh, was unable to play them out properly they had all the chances to wipe out nostrum dollars um and they actually did but after that after that uh they did not fin finish it up with the proper cc or uh, perhaps uh, nostrum dollars was good at avoiding them and uh I should give credit to Nostrum Dolos that even though they were fi facing uh, complete wipes all the time, they managed to spread out to keep uh, one, two of their members alive at all times. And that's, uh, well, of course, there were a couple of uh, incredibly close moments where they just dropped out and were able to prevent uh, the cap. Otherwise, uh, well, things might have gotten much more complicated uh, for Nostrum Dolos. They were pretty much. Uh, saved by chance I suppose well I cannot really say that and uh, such uh, round one obviously ends damn it was intense a lot of damage a lot of damage on the side of reality check but the Nostrum dollars did not uh, falter uh, damn it a little bit of a switch on the stream I hope it doesn't bother anyone but the, the game continues now Nostrum dollars is gonna be taken uh, side of the attack uh, the attacking side uh, I can see on the chat they're saying they went 7 DPS well yeah I suppose it's just as I expected um, well not 6 7 but hey of course they would have a lot of DPS in this case and it's actually interesting uh, an interesting decision to have 7 DPS but uh, let's see how how perhaps some of them respect by the way it's hard to say right now but the action has started. Um, Nanox is focusing Mew all so far. Nostrum Dolos aren't losing any HP, and oh my god, oh my god, reality check is caught in so much AoE in this choke point. Uh, Nostrum Dolos continues almost not to lose HP. The lowest they have is Scoby at 50%. Oh, Scoby is going, is go getting low uh, a little bit. It's an operative healer. Will he be kept alive? Yes, Cheesecakes now getting its immediate swap of the focus to to the dangerous DPS from the healer, knowing that the healer has 
has to stop and keep himself alive they immediately switched but uh, will that produce any results look at this actually actually it's interesting but the, neither of these teams are using uh, the so widespread uh, hybrid build on their sages look at that there are no stun bubbles involved whatsoever but instead their sages are using well at least nostrum dolosis i cannot say for sure for the for the reality check but nostrum dolosis what the hell <laughs> it's like 0.1 percent interrupt on the cap it could have been a cap door like right now reality check could have lose the game but wow i wonder who interrupted it unfortunately i couldn't see but anyway what's interesting in this case is that no stun bubbles going off and actually uh Nostrum Dolus went for full heals on the Sage, I'm not sure why they consider uh, Salvation, which is an AoE heal for the Sage, more effective than the Bubble, but uh, it's up to them, obviously they're doing a great job and their they're target focusing and switching is actually on, well, I don't know, it's top of the line perhaps, I'm not sure what to say, but they're certainly cooperating on a good level, On they feel like an established team, at least to me. Uh, reality check is, by the way, uh, on, on the back foot, I suppose, I don't know, but uh, obviously, even though they are dying much faster than uh, Nostrum Dolos right now, they did a lot better job. In the previous round, uh, I feel like somebody, somebody, uh, some people from uh, Reality Check actually respect, respect, and now uh, because it's, it certainly feels like uh, Reality Check's DPS output uh, has dropped. Maybe I'm wrong. Just don't take my word. But it seriously feels like uh, they were dying uh, way less, uh, way less quick compared to compared to the previous round where they actually managed to put a lot of pressure on Nostrum Dolos. Uh, but uh, anyway... <laughs> well, you know what, I feel like Nostrum Dolos is actually not uh, not exactly going for the cap. Look, they have nobody at the door. They are, instead of the cap, they are going for the kills because uh, if, uh, if some of you don't know, uh, if no, none of the teams breach the first set of doors, uh, the victory is decided by the amount of kills and perhaps that's exactly what they're trying to do. They're trying to break the backbone of reality check and uh, like destroy their morale, if it's at all possible. Uh, Ammo uh, is trying to cap but uh, is not successful, obviously. Damn, so much action grenades going on, it's it's carnage, and not just your usual carnage marauder, but it's just overall carnage. Whoa. Did it just did the sword try to cast revivification in this case? Yeah, both both of the sword of uh, sage sword healers on the both side would be full heals instead of um, the problem with that is that that the salvation and the revivification are too goddamn easy to interrupt and perhaps they are not effective as as opposed to the instant cast on on <coughs> on bubble and uh, aoe stun but anyway uh, well uh, the healer is pressured and the sork healer goes down like seriously reality check is uh, is so so goddamn behind they're getting wiped constantly they are unable to regroup they keep coming out and they get to prevent the cap but that the, perhaps they just don't understand how much how much behind that puts them if they do not regroup and if they are unable to keep their uh, look at that lima operative healer immediately gets uh, pressured uh, the sork is trying to cast revivification but is interrupted and that's what i'm talking about how much uh, how much behind if he used the stun bubbles perhaps they would be uh, holding holding nostrum dollars back reality check would be holding nostrum dollars back but uh, as they do not have uh, enough cc what i feel like right now they are just they're just pressured into into non-stop defense and it, uh, essentially eventually they're wiped out they are unable to regroup and damn it niche uh, it's uh, that uh, full heal sword I feel like he wasn't. He was a DPS, uh, and uh, they didn't use that much heals before. 
but uh, right now he respects into full heals, but he's not allowed to cast any heals right now. Like that's 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 it. The Sork simply cannot stay alive without uh, any additional CC and uh, additional survivability that uh, stun bubbles would allow would allow him to. Look at that, he cast revivification, but nobody is there. The whole team had to spread. He cast it, but it's uh, absolutely ineffective, and perhaps that is the key. Uh, to why uh, reality check is unable to do anything right now they lack healing operative healer alone cannot cannot just sustain his team look at that uh, well I uh, can clearly well perhaps a little bit anticlimactic but I can clearly call the winner it will be Nostrum Dollar simply because uh, they must be like uh, 20 or 30 kills ahead right now uh, and uh, with the 40 seconds left to the end of the round well uh, I don't think there is anything left for reality check in this case, although they they played almost uh, almost perfect first round. Yes, of course they weren't able to break the doors, but they uh, put a lot of pressure. Um, their focus targeting was good. Uh, perhaps uh, um, Nostrum Dolus was saved uh, several times by chance, or maybe I should call it luck. Uh, just when. The, reality check missed out on only a second uh, or second and a half to plant and defend it but uh, right now right now whatever the setup they changed to it is definitely not enough and GG is cold what we want to do here right now is to look at the stats let's look at the Sork there their Sork he healed only five yeah, the healing is greatly in favor of Nostrum Dolos. I am not sure what this niche Sork was doing, but his healing is considerably low. Yes, he put out some damage, but was it worth was it worth the cut in the healing? Oh, look at that. Ghost had dealt 800k damage. It's like uh, more than 80 of the two DPS from reality check combined and uh, all right this is it this is it for the game at least this one uh, and i'm not sure reality check it feels like they could have had this game but for some reason for the round two uh they did not uh they did not choose the right specs the right way to go about uh, about it uh i felt like round one was uh toe to toe uh fight the uh, and they actually pushed pushed Nostrum Dolos back and, and they had all the power to take the round but in the round 2 they uh, it felt like they respect and some of the respects respects were a wrong decision Whew. anyway i certainly enjoyed watching this battle and it wasn't and it didn't look like any of the teams was weaker than the other one Damn, even a PvE servers have competition. Red Eclipse, guys, these guys could could be on par to the to the teams riding on the Bastion and the Tomb of Freedom Net and perhaps other servers I don't know about. I certainly hope that uh, these guys will show more of the great games. Be sure to follow Nanox on his Twitch TV stream, although he doesn't stream so often. From what I can tell, the ranked games they play, they're definitely worth watching. I will post I will post the link to these videos uh, in the description to the YouTube video, so be sure to, to check out the Nanox's stream. And keep watch for the flavored and daily PvP on YouTube, on the site, on Twitter and Facebook uh, for uh, more exciting ranked SW tour and games and not only Whoa No seriously I'm still thinking about this game I'm still thinking what could what could reality check have done different If you have any ideas guys leave it in the comments that would be cool to to know what you think Anyway thanks for watching it was flavored and daily PvP Mwah. Later